Howdy folks and yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. We're going to talk a little bit more about the longer Wraith 5 laser machine that we put together last week and looking at the features. So yeah. The, it was the first one to come out with touchscreen and Longer asked me to make sure I mentioned that, that they were the first. And we're going to talk a little bit about the nuts and bolts of it and also I got a pretty big announcement uh, that I've heard in the industry that uh, is coming out from Longer with the Ray 5. The Ray 5 is it's just a it's a darn awesome machine for the price and for features you know I don't see any way of beating it you put it together in about an hour's time if you if you're careful take your time and you can engrave one of the things I used to do was trying to engrave these pirate treasure chest boxes that I made from uh, pl uh, various wood over the years and I had a problem engraving the pirate logo into them this this thing here would have been awesome to have in its day so uh, I'm sort of thinking about putting this under the engraver just go ahead and you know put the put the old pirates uh, insignia on there in the meantime I uh, wanted to talk more about the interactive uh, touchscreen so what we're going to do is close up on the touchscreen and I'm going to show you some of the features of that touchscreen plus the general features and then like I said the uh, Big announcement coming. That is a 5 watt diode laser and it does a nice job. I like it. At 100% you can see it you know, burning in really nicely. But if you want to cut or do something anything more seriously uh, towards the idea of different materials and things, a uh, 5 watt laser doesn't always get the job done, at least not quickly. So longer, I'm hearing through the grapevine, that they're coming out with a 20 watt laser ahead that you could possibly buy, I guess, as an option or an extra feature to add to this one and run a 20 watt diode laser, which would allow you to cut and then you could engrave into some pretty significant materials. I uh, can't give you the list on that because I don't know exactly, but I do know that when you get to 20 watts, you can get into uh, a lot of different things, glass and ceramics and some of the more harder materials and you can engrave in it, which is it's friggin' cool, you know. But let's get to the uh, the interactive uh, touch screen and I'll show you the features that are in there. That thing is really cool. It is really a neat, neat item. Let's do this. The uh, longer Ray 5 comes with an interactive screen which you, allows you to basically run the machine without a computer or any assistance of anything else. Now it's kind of basic when it comes in because obviously if you want to do more than just a, a couple of things you're going to you know need to go into a computer and software and other things but the nice thing is as soon as you get this out of the box and assemble it you already have some stuff to, to you can do and let's take a look at adjustment just for example and we can adjust the output of the laser 50 percent five percent or shut the laser off for the time being until we you know fully run uh, if we're running a, like a test cycle something like that the next thing i want to just do is let's see if we can do this control and you can see the laser is over there in the background and i'm just going to move the laser with the control package right here on the screen interactively and just touch it now what this allows me to do because this machine has no hard uh, fixed limits I can set a home position to wherever I want it when I want to begin a project and again that's a great feature I really do like it so there I've just pushed the home lock and now theoretically I can send this thing to a home spot we also have a high speed pass for you know lasering now I'm gonna get out of the control package we're gonna go straight to engraving because that's the most that's the exciting part yeah 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 engraving and right here you can see that we have like in this case here we have three files that are included with the longer ray 5 you get these three free files for engraving and they're really cool one is a compass another one is some birds and you also have of course the longer uh, 5 you know ray 5 uh, logo the longer logo excuse me and you can add all your files in here and at any time you can pull your file up take a look at it and go ahead and, and do that as an engraving so the features on this thing are really cool and then you have a tool here now in the tool you actually have the firmware the board lot of what version it is for the Ray 5 and also have the CPU uh, frequency which gives you the information and of course it also has let's see if we can get a good shot of that Wi-Fi yeah on there so the really a lot of cool features but what I like is this interactive uh, just just push button screen and you can just get the Ray 5 to do do a lot of things right out of the box I knew this was going to be the case because uh, longer has done this with their 3d printers so this thing here yeah same idea now let's talk about some of the other features of this machine okay here we go so let's talk about some of the features we've got here 
The aluminum bar construction is really rigid. It's strong. There's a nice scale on both sides, which, you know, and there's a scale here. So you can really scale up a product or project that you're gonna, you know, you're gonna be doing an engraving on. Also, the actual physical size of this is, I think we've already talked about it a little bit, it's about 16 inches by 16 inches roughly in US standards. And that in itself was really, whoa, you know, this is a big, this is a big boy. You know, it, it, it can take some larger scale jobs. And I'll put my hand right beside the, uh, right here by this engravement right here. So you can get an idea how big this is. It's a good size, you know, and I could have made it, you know, 16 by 16, I could have made it even bigger, you know. The other thing that uh, feature in this one that was really interesting is you have geared drive belts on both sides of the machine, which really increases the accuracy for movement for the laser when it's engraving, you know, and that's a fantastic feature. It's light, it's portable enough that you could probably pick this up and, you know, take it to a project somewhere if you had to lay it on top. It's, it's got nice, super secure feet. They have little rubber snubbers on the bottom, so this thing's not gonna, you know, bump around. Speaking of which, if for some reason the machine senses any change in anything around it, such a little bump or a tap or anything like that, it will shut down. So this is to help prevent, you know, any kind of like fire hazard or any problems like that that might, you know, something might go wrong. And that's a good thing to have, especially when you're, you know, burning wood in your shop. It's kind of a nice thing to have. The gears and the way this thing is laid out too, it looks to me like it was built to last a long time time and give you you know hours of service without any you know interruptions or problems the belts themselves are easy to change if for some reason down the road you wore a belt out but you'd have to do a lot of work before that belt gives out the overall construction is just plain it's just good and i love that interactive uh, touch screen can't beat it the laser head is awesome it's easy to uh scale up in fact here i'll show it to you this is your, uh, this is for dialing the laser in right here. And it, it has a nice little spot back here where it goes on this, on the back side. So you know exactly where to put that laser when you're setting up to go ahead and do your, you know, do your burn. The five watt laser right now is not a big power consumer. So again, you're not looking at a big electric bill because you're, you know, running a laser in the garage or in a room somewhere in the house wherever you're doing it. Always make sure the goggles are on, of course, when you're gonna be doing this sort of thing. Safety, safety. And the power brick thing has a nice long cord on it. So it will reach out and plug in. Plus you get a printer cable included, which will plug USB, you know, 3.1 or three these days. I can't keep track of these USBs anymore, but plugs right into a laptop or a computer where you can take files and put them into the machine and tell it to go ahead such as this and you know do a nice engraving job on a piece of lumber for you. Right now that's where we're at. And Longer also, like I said, does 3D printers. They've done some machines, they've been around for a while. So this is a terrific machine. I really like it, you know, and uh, we are gonna have to hold on to this just yet. I'm gonna, I'm hearing through the grapevine that this 20 watt laser might be released. Their, I think their target date right now is, I believe it's sometime in May. So uh, I'm gonna be sitting back and saying, okay, we'll wait till May or whenever to find out about this other laser head because that would be a really nice extra little thing. And I understand that uh, there's probably some other accessories that Longer might be coming out with, but Wow, you know, what a great machine, and we've got a great sale price on it right now. I'll provide a link in the description below where you can find this guy if you decide you want to uh, expand your, you know, your wood working services, or you want to do something with the community, something like that, or you want to start a small business, anything along that line. Here's an excellent machine that will get you started and allow you to do some really good sized things. Uh, in the meantime, I want to thank everybody for watching Coffee and Tools. And please like, share, subscribe as always. So what else can I tell you about this laser? It's built by a company that has a good reputation and it's, it's, it's a good build. It's just, it has lots of features. It's a very good build. And I do like that it does not have the hard limits. Like I said, 
that allows me to start the home location out here so I don't have to go work off a corner or something I can work right up in the middle I can set up and work wherever I want to with an engraving it sort of gives you that you know flexible uh, area of where you want to start the job or project that you're going to be burning in awesome machine wow okay guys I think I'm out of here over and out